All right, KISS Army, welcome to the KISS FAQ Podcast. Thank you for giving us your time today and letting us into your head. I hope we don't do any damage. This is a KISS-related podcast by the board for the board. We hope that you enjoy. We'd love you to support this show. Please like, follow, and subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Your likes and subscription helps us to grow and attract interviews and content. So please retweet and share our posts. Your contributions are appreciated. Welcome to episode 437 of the KISS FAQ podcast. This is a bonus episode. It's not going to be a seven-hour adventure. It's purely informational (laughs) for next week's KISS Cruise-related events. If you're coming to San Pedro uh, for the gap day in between Cruise Part 1 and Cruise Part 2, um... Well, we got shit going down all over the place. Obviously, there is the Cruise Fest happening, which is a separate event. And we're going to be talking about what's going on at Godmother's. Uh, Andy, your gig. Tell me what's up. Uh, So anyways, um, you know, in the past, I've set up hotels and helped out things and been other people with me. And then I've done things and now I'm just doing it myself. Oh, actually, I should say, I should say myself. Kim helps out. And there's other people that help out in the background, you know, favors. I do this and that. So anyways, um, I'm back. You know, I said I retired, but I came back, you know, even when I even retired, <laughs> I said I retired, I still, uh, I had good repertoire with, uh, down in Miami with the hotel. So I decided to keep it up for everybody to save people money. That's all it was about. I wasn't even going on the kiss cruises and I just figured I had a good rep. They loved us down in Miami, so at the holiday in there. So I kept that up for a couple of years. And then now <clears throat> this year, when uh, they had mentioned this was going to be the last cruise, I kind of talked to him. He said, hey, you want to go uh, on a kiss cruise? And she was like, you're kidding me. And I said, well, it's going out of L.A. Oh, actually, I should say I should say L.A., right? We should say San Pedro because that's technically where it's going out of. <laughs> so if you don't know, you know, L.A. and San Pedro, what, what, what is it, like a half hour, 45 minutes or an hour away from each other? So, it's, Well, it's anyways. L.A., so it's L.A., so it's about six hours. <laughs> that's right here. We're going to find out here coming soon uh, as we take off here pretty soon. So, um, so anyways, I went searching for a hotel, and I found some. And then uh, the Crown Plaza in San Pedro got back to me and they say, yeah, sure, we'd love to have you, la, 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 all that good stuff. And then I said, okay, give me the rooms. We'll pack it. Sure you will. I'm like, yeah, give me the whole hotel. Well, we have like 240, 250 rooms. I'm like, give it to me. I'll sell it out. No, no, no. You be, now, this is, now, you got to understand, this is early. This is for the announced officially on the books for NCL. Even though the KISS – Cruise had said it. They say, "Oh yeah, we're doing a thing." They hadn't put it on the books at NCL. So when the hotels find out when they put it on the books, they, you know they raise the prices of the rooms. They, they you know you know how the game goes. So yep. I had snuck in before everything hit. So uh, so they gave me some rooms. They gave me a block of rooms. Sold them out within a week and a half. Give me another block. Sold them out. Give me another block. Sold. Them out. And like the fourth block, basically they stopped me. They're like, "Andy, hey, you got to stop. We got to stop you." I go, "Why?" Because you sold way more than we expected. Basically, you're packing the place, and that's awesome. So, uh, that room's the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and then the day you get back from the cruise. And then uh, I had mentioned a couple of months later, they had added on the first cruise, which is the second cruise I want to sell. We all don't know about that mess. So, I call it KK11 and KK12 because there's not week one and week two, there's only one week different bands but this, i'm still still sailing the same week i still haven't figured that one out doesn't make sense so anyways so i call it kk11 and kk12 so i explain that to them uh i'm like give me another more rooms so hopefully some people got that too so there are rooms for this weekend too so because i know the cruise leaves what monday monday the 21st I, so. I, i've paid zero attention because i'm not going <laughs> and i'm not leaving until until the 26th to drive down yeah. So, so the fir- first Kiss Cruise that went on second on sale leaves the 24th, which is Monday. So the 24th to the 29th. So I got rooms for that. So the next thing. I'll... So you know how it goes. Set up an event. Try to get people to hang around. And that's all I want to do and make it free. You know, that was been the mission. Just to get people to hang around. And as everybody knows, I've done a lot of, like, big events. Been huge. Vinny, Peter, 
you name some of the guests, you name them, Lydia, uh, Big John, you, you name them. They, they've a lot of people have been there, and uh, I try to make it as free as possible. Then it just got so huge. It was time, and a lot of people, especially a lot of the, uh, veteran, I call them veteran cruisers, uh, said they love to just to hang out because they talk online or talk to people on Facebook, but they haven't seen each other in a year or maybe two years. Some have been longer. Uh, because of you know the whole virus and COVID stuff, and plus they just haven't got on the cruise, and now they're getting back on because these are supposed to be the last ones, so they wanted to get on. So I wasn't going to do anything, but then I said, okay, I'll do something, and then I had to make a deal with Kim. Yeah, if you go on a cruise, it's a that we'll go to Disneyland. So we're going to Disneyland, Universal, and the Hollywood, the Hollywood signs are like lovely stuff. So that was kind of the deal. So that was the deal. <laughs> Which is okay with me. I'm fine with it. Because I love Halloween Horror Nights anyway. So I started talking to Crown, talking about all those things that we, we did back in the day. You know, people just come out, listen to Kiss tunes. I'd bring my iPod because they didn't have anybody. And I was going to pay for DJ or all that stuff. So I just want to make it simple. So I was going to bring my iPod and we're going to hook it in. And then we just listen to tunes and maybe have some raffles. and People can win prizes and stuff like that. And um, I think they were a little, like, worried. Because it, it's a, it was the same thing like Miami the first year. They were really worried, a little bit concerned about, oh, my God, how many people going to get overrun? You know, it is a hotel. There are other things going on. So I didn't decide. So anyways, after months and months of trying to work some stuff out, it didn't work out all the way. So what do we got to do? I had to move on. So even though it's awesome, I am so grateful for the crown that we picked the crown. It's a beautiful hotel and everything else. But I think they were just too worried about how many people were going to be there, and they have other. Well, they, they've they really they've never had an infestation of Kiss fans before, so f it's fair for them to be concerned about that aspect. It's one thing to put bodies in rooms, living ones, um, and another to have you know an event or something going on. So all respect to the Crown for making rooms available, you know, at a really good rate to people who are coming yeah. in for the cruise and other people who are coming in for the cruise related events. Yeah. And uh, they, they, actually there is another event. I think it's during the day until like five or six o'clock. It might be a wedding or something. So they have other things going on there too, because it is a nice place and is a pretty big thing. And they got like nine. I like weddings. And nine, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, so basically uh, I had to move on and my friend here, you, you, uh, the one who said, hey, Andy, check this place out. So I says, okay, I got to I gotta move on. So at that point, I had to move on. <clears throat> so we started, me, you and I actually started looking at another place. So I thought the place was too small, <laughs> like literally a little bit too small. And I happened to see, and I searched a little deeper. And then what happens? I find this place, literally, it's kind of like across the street. Uh, and it's a place called Godmother's Saloon. And I know it looks like a country bar, and I think it might be like a country bar kind of thing. But um, I contacted them a couple times, and I need to get the right person. And I finally got the owner, manager, slash whatever. Her name is Sandra. She contacted me, called, called me. I explained to everything, and she's all in. I, within seconds, all in, ready to do this. And I explained to her everything would go on. I bring my iPod. We play Kiss music. I have like five or six hundred songs. Just put it on mix. Listen to tunes in the background. Um, I also said that if um, I made a special cup, basically it was a, as a. Uh, oh, actually, it wasn't just me. You, you, <laughs> you, right there sitting there, <laughs> and me donated a cup to a special cup to Godmother Saloon. So any drink that you buy, you can put it in this cup. So if you don't even drink booze, if you drink soda, whatever. Because like me, I'm not supposed to be drinking booze because I have liver disease. So I found out like a year and a half ago or two years at this point. So um, so even if you drink a soda, so when you buy a drink in that cup or actually any drink, they're going to have a raffle tickets and you're going to get one for every drink you get. And then we're going to uh, raffle off prizes. And uh, it all depends on how many people give us prizes. So I'm bringing some. You say you're going to donate maybe a couple things. Other people have already, like, sending me pictures they're going to donate. So if we do a raffle every 15 minutes, it could be every half hour, every hour. I don't know, depending on how much stuff we get. And uh, the more people buy any kind of drink, now, anything. That, that raffle and stuff's going to be on the night. Uh, 
yes. of the which night because there there are I'm going to be there separately just doing my thing the first night, um, yes. and that's a, a very low key. That's Julian sitting behind a table for people who <laughs> aren't attending the events um, that are scheduled. I think that's the twenty seventh, correct? Yeah, so anybody out there that's seeing this, and it doesn't matter. You can be anywhere in California. You can go on a cruise. You can not be on a cruise. It doesn't matter. This is open house, and it's free to get in. So, And it holds about 175, 50 to 175 people. So basically, it's going to be first come, first serve. So uh, so on the 27th at Godmother Saloon, from like 5, 6 beyond, you can meet Mr. Right there, world famous Julian Gill, and you can get, you can get, oh, my God, you can get, the two gold mines that came out, you know, was it two for 20 or one for yeah. 12? Or yeah. Something? So, so you've, uh, you've shown them off because I, I, I sent you the two that I had. So yeah, I'll, I'll have um, quite a lot of copies of those for those of you who want a pair. There'll be 20 bucks for a pair or 12 bucks each. Um, I've also got a very few of the limited edition with photo prints. Um, and those are, they sold out nearly instantaneously on Goldmine site and they're sealed, they're mint. Um, so if you want those or looking for those, those, those are, you know, they'll be available. Um, I, I'm just going to run, run, run down some of the items. So the book. All right. The book. So there There's are only 50 available and I got, uh, oh, no, look, well, I got nearly <laughs> there, there are 50 copies with an insert. Uh, photo, oh, which is a five by insert. seven print of a photo that oh, I this? own. Yeah, that I own the copyright oh. for, so I'm not violating any laws. And that's from the Fillmore in '74. So yes. 50 copies come with that, and there are a few extra copies because I had to over order in case any have dings and stuff. And again, they're all mint in box because that's how they arrive from the shipper. But uh, 50 are signed and have uh, and that and don't make me write stuff. And also, anybody, if you guys buy the books from Julian, Julian will sign them for you because I'm making it known. Julian loves to sign, so he I said he would love it. to sign your books. Anything that you get from Julian, he's going to sign it for you. Gee, thanks, buddy. I'm going to have to buy an, invest in an auto pen to do it. So No, you won't, you won't pull a Vinnie Vincent, will you? <laughs> no, I will not. But okay, what else am I going to have? I'm like a mobile bookstore this year because you I'm going to have. have th well, good? I'm going to ha actually. I've got no no paperbacks of the Odyssey. I do have the hardcover of Aerosmith on tour. There are very few of these. It's beautiful. Oh, the Danger blue, Zone denim color. Um, I'm going to have hard covers of the books that Tim and I did. Solo? Gene Ace, Peter Paul, and Odyssey. Danger Zone, I've got some hard covers. Those are so, all sold, long sold out, so I'm still able to have them made, but I'm not able to sell them. Um, well, yeah, and also, you are going to have these, and I'll tell you. This, only this, if you're the, huge only Aerosmith, the hard covers. Only the hard covers. Oh, but, yeah, but it don't matter. If you're a huge Aerosmith fan, I know this is a kid's event, but I'm telling you, if you're a huge Aerosmith fan, this is the book to get. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. Not only huge... The info on this, and I'll tell you, Julian came here to Massachusetts, and I told Julian, Julian, you gotta, you gotta stay near where I live, and I'll go with you that like that week. And I'll tell you, I'm, I, I admit it openly, admit it. Everybody knows I am not the biggest Aerosmith fan, but I'll tell you, when I went with Julian, it was pretty amazing, even for me. I had a really good, awesome time. And I had a kick out of because a lot of the Aerosmith places are still around. They yeah. didn't knock them down. It's crazy. And also, when I looked in, when when you sent me the other books, I didn't realize it. Look, I see there's going to be a part two of the Arrow. There is, there's a part two. Part two is as thick as it already exists. It, you know, I'm just it don't... crazy. So, yeah, no, <laughs> it, it's nuts. Volume one has a lot of Kiss stuff in it. I interviewed Eric and Tommy. Uh, because they both had Aerosmith stories as well as their early Kiss stories. Um, you know, and if you've ever heard of the road crew fights between Aerosmith and Kiss, I've got the Aerosmith side of the story in there as well. <laughs> so, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of crossover in those early days and all, all the opening acts, you know, quotes from people in Cheap Trick, if you like those 70, 70s bands, a lot of Nugent in there. So um, one other book I'm going to have, which these are all heavy, which is why I'm doing them. The author of Pictures Alive, Steve Roney, 
and Scott Davis were kind enough to provide a couple of boxes of these to me um, so that people could save on shipping. If you're flying in, these things are brutal to ship internationally because they weigh a ton. <laughs> um, and they've also given me bookmarks to give out with them and flyers as well. So, nice. you know, it's a great opportunity for you to save wow. money on postage if you're coming in because my books weigh three pounds each. You know, what's it? Two kilos roughly. So, uh, again, and there aren't any gouging prices on any of these. The Pictures Alive book is at same cost. You're saving on postage. Mine, my hardcovers, well, there's only 50 of the uh, of the uh, hardcover of the KISS book out, and it's not going to be made mass market in hardback anyway. So, you know, that's 40 bucks. Aerosmith hardcovers, 40 bucks. Again, that's never going to go into mass market circulation in that form. So um, all the paperbacks that I'm bringing with me are, are, I think, 10 to 15 bucks each. 10 to 15 bucks. I've got vault books. Um, yeah, pretty much, but very limited quantities of them all. But I'll give you a free pin. Nice. Because so one other thing I'm going to have. Yeah. What? There's, there's the artwork. Coming next year, Mass that... Hysteria is going to be oh. a, it's a book on, it's a full color magazine book on 1980, which is, nice. you'll see how far I'm up to with it and where I need help from fans. And you'll be able to have a quick flip through to see nice. where you might have something that can help me. So, see? all right. You're, you. surprised even, you're, you're surprised even me. I don't even know some of this stuff. This is awesome. I love this. So again, so if anybody wants to get any of this stuff from Julian, you can get it on October 27th, definitely at Godmothers from 5 to 6 p.m. on. Also, if anybody else wants to buy, sell, or trade on the October 27th, you can go there and sit around, hang around with Julian, have yourself a beer at the bar, right, and just hang out. And they know, they know they're coming, but it's going to be the more mellow thing. The bigger event is going to be the next night from 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on at Godmothers, which is basically a two- a three minute walk from um, <clears throat> the Crown Plaza. So, and I guess it's what about a, I think it's a five minute drive or a five minute or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a 20 minute walk from uh, the uh, double tree, from the double tree thereabouts. Yeah, because I know a lot of fans are staying down there too. So it's all open. It's not like, oh my God, you have to stay at this hotel to come and it's like, oh no, it's all open. That's how I play the game. It's all open. So, if anybody you can, if you want to see Julian on the, if you can only see him on the 27th, or if anybody else is hanging around on the 27th, and you got nothing going on from 5, 6 o'clock p.m. to thing, see them at Godmothers. And also, again, the bigger event is going to be, <clears throat> again, on the 28th, too, from 6 p.m. on. And again, it's going to be raffles um, for, for Kiss Goodies. I, I don't know everything. Like I said, I had shown a, I have an Ace Freely um, 2014 soul album. I'm going to donate one. And I have this shout it out loud from um, KOL, the, the, the shout out loud, you know what I mean, from the destroyer stuff. I forgot off the top of my head. So it might be a couple other things. Like I said, uh, people are going to donate. Uh, we're just going to have some fun. And um, also, uh, I had just announced last week, dun, 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 I've been kind of holding it, holding it. We've been waiting and waiting to announce it. The sisters doll are going to be there. So if you guys noted that they were voted on the Kiss Cruise to be on week two. So they're going to come out and hang around all night. Yes. And they're going to do some meet and greets, you know? So that's awesome because it's a, you know, when you get on a Kiss Cruise, they do have these meet and greets, but it's like a cow call. It's like all the bands, they do split it. They're going to split it this into two this year because I saw the schedule. But basically you can only get one signature per person and that's it. And you got to kind of move on getting another huge line. So even though if you can see the sister dolls on a cruise that one time, if you want a chance, you might as well meet them. You might as well meet them at Godmothers and hang out because they just hang out with us too, <laughs> which is going to be awesome. So, and they're, you know what? They're a great bunch of blokes. So they're, they're, they'll be a fun hangout with, you know, they're a great, great young band. You know, they've got a new single out now, um, you know, so come out and meet them and, you know, Come and say hi. This backdrop behind me, I'm going to have with me for photos. The elder one, I don't have anymore. I, it got lost or stolen, or didn't it? Now look at that. He just said, "People, if you didn't hear him, see that background. We're going to have that set up, and you can have pictures taken for free." Yeah, I know it sounds silly. Some people might sound silly, but this is just like 
just get in the gallery and hanging out, listen to Kiss tunes yeah, in the background. Yeah, come and on. Be, you know, come if, on. if you haven't seen someone in years and want to get a cool picture with a, 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 a kind of photo backdrop, obviously Creatures of the Night is coming out November the 18th, Super Deluxe Edition, a whole bunch of uh, different versions. So I made up a kind of Creatures-ish backdrop for you to do. When I did the backdrop in Miami and at some of the other events in uh, Atlanta Expo, you know, I've still got a ton of photos and people just going nuts in front of it. And it was super cool you know use your own you use your own phone or camera and get someone to take a photo of you in front of it with friends and there there's a, a free there's no branding on mine no kiss faq stuff on it is just a backdrop uh, i'm not trying to that sell awesome. anything it's just i'll use it for my shows or i'll leave it at some event you know when i've done a when it's had its use so yeah. And also, I want to mention quick, too, if uh, if anybody knows what I'm going to talk about next year, quick, it's called a bar crawl. And I go, you know, like a bar crawl. <laughs> I've done one like, uh, I don't know, this will be number seven. But I had stopped because I was going on a cruise and I said, hey, somebody take over and nobody wanted to. And then when I got back on the cruise, everybody's like, come on, do it, do it. I'm like, nah, I don't know. Maybe it's passe, you know, nobody wants to do it anymore. Oh, was I wrong? I thought maybe like 10 or 15 people like, kind of started. So because it was all like, hey, if anybody wants a shirt. I only charged a couple bucks more because just in case I had to ship them, I had to go get them. I go drive to go get them, bring them back home, put all stickers and names on them. So, uh, anyways, uh, that's how it does. And it, it's not like you, you, and anybody can come for free. It, it's, it's always a event. You can wear old shirts, new shirts, whatever, kids shirts. It's it's all good. And it exploded this year. It's like a hundred people got shirts. We got them last night, putting all the names on them with the sizes on them, everything. And I can't wait. So. If you are part of that, and if you want your shirt from for the bar for the bar crawl this year, you can pick it up at Godmothers. Kim and I will be there with the list and your name. Just ask. We'll have everything in. So we're going to be next to the world famous Julian Gill here. And, that, all- and that'll be on the twenty eighth that you can pick those up, not the twenty seventh. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the you see, if you come to pick up those shirts on the twenty seventh, you're just going to see me sitting in the corner saying, "Please, sir, buy my book." <laughs> I mean, I'm, me and Kim, we're not going to be there. I'm sorry on the 27th. We, that was part of the deal. We're going to Disneyland. I'm actually um, got a van for like 15 people and 15 Kiss fans that want to go, pitched in for gas, tolls, you know, the renting van. And we're taking off on October 27th, first thing, like 8, 15 in the morning, driving up to Anaheim and going to Disneyland all day, all night long. That's going to be kind of cool. You know, just something different. You know, just to kind of get a little chill from everything else and then be ready to go the next morning at uh, thing. So, hey, again, too, if you need to get the bar cross shirts, you will be able to get them on October 28th. Also, at the pool area, I'll make a video on the thing and I'll say, hey, we're here if you want your thing. And I made a special pick, which I don't have in my hand. Oh, well, it's downstairs already. That the faster you come and get your shirt, you get a chance to get one, get a pick, a special pick, because I only have so many of them. Once they're gone, they are gone. So, anyways, that's what that uh, again, it is a special cup. Oh, speaking of special cup, I had made a special cup for the crown. There was going to be a special cup for the crown, and it's different than the one. It's a, a godmother's for godmothers. So I am going to have a second cup now. I don't know if the bar is going to take them from me because I don't really care, or I will. me and Kim will have the cup at the table. So we're going to figure this out. I don't know yet when I get uh, to the crown on the uh, 26th. I will figure that out but I'm getting the cups back from them because they basically don't want the cups now because I'm not having the event there. So they don't want them. I paid for them. So I want my cups back. <laughs> Only fair, right? So fair, we'll figure fair, that out. Fair is fair. So, you know, there's a lot of freebie stuff, you know, you know a lot of handouts, flyers, you know, for these various books, yep. uh, flyers with the artwork for Mask Hysteria with a QR code on the back for the website, um, you know, so that if you're wanting to contribute something from your collection, if you've got newspaper scans, ticket stubs of your own, you know, articles, show reviews especially foreign language that i can ocr and have translated are are very useful and also to have the real images you know are just really cool to include in that sort of thing and if you're a fan who took photos took your own photos snuck a 110 camera into a show in 1980 well i want to hear from you because i don't want any professional photos in this i want it to be a fan um a fan publication and that's how i'm i'm aiming it so again andy's got cups you got drinks you got sisters dolls you got me you got remaining books that i have plus new ones um and that's just the evenings 
this is free. Everybody just come and just relax and uh, chill out and have an awesome time. That's all. And you never know what could happen. It's, you know, we're just there to have some fun and see what goes on. And, and you know what, man, I did, I am super chill about this whole thing. Cause a lot of times, sometimes you get a little stressed with people and, and you know, things are going on and I'm all, you know, running around my head cut off and stuff. This is chill. I am so chill. I can't wait to see everybody again. You yeah. know? No, it, it, that's the whole idea. It, it's chill. I get to do stuff during the day down at the Double Tree. Be there in the evening, you know, for, um, you know, the other things aren't my scene. I don't want to go to the Rainbow in L.A. I've been there. Um, I, I don't really want to, you know, be doing a whole, whole lot of heavy stuff because I got Wasp on the 29th. So, you know. So- it's a funny thing, too. Uh, oh, also, uh, it, you know, if you actually staying at the Crown, because I said anybody can come, but if you're staying at the Crown, when you check in to your room in the Crown, make sure you sign up, because they told me, though, you have to sign up to get on the bus or whatever, the transportation for the next morning to get on a cruise. And I think it's like $5.50 a person. I mean, literally, it's just right down the street. You can walk it, but you want to walk your luggage? It's, you know, it's worth it to take the $5 ride, because right? <laughs> you know you're going to be standing up all day and all night. And uh, speaking about, like you said, the rainbow and stuff, you know, I'm doing a little, uh, I wouldn't say little, huh? You saw the paperwork. I got about, what, this thick? <laughs> I must have 100 kiss spots. And it's just not your regular, oh, this is Paul Stanley's house or Gene Simmons' house, because I'm not even going to those, because those are way further up. But I have like 100 spots of just like kiss places that they either been. Like, it's, this is how silly it gotten, like, I know where they like go grocery shop, and this picture is like Gene and Paul coming out of these this certain grocery shop, I can't, uh, grocery store. And I can't remember the name off the top of my head. These pictures of them coming and out. Coming up on the off. left is Paul Stanley's favorite Starbucks. There you go. All that kind of crazy stuff. I have a lot of those really silly things. So as soon as we get off the plane, we're going right over to the first in LAX. The first thing is uh, the Rock and Brews, right? The Rock and Brews is in section one of LAX. So that's that's the first shop. And then, of course, then the LA form is right there when you get out of the thing. So I'm working my way up a little bit. And then we're staying up towards uh, up at the Boulevard there for like four days. So we're going to go walk down the Boulevard, see the Kiss Star, the, the, you know, all, all those the, the Chinese theater where Kiss things. But there's a lot of places. Even like I know where the creatures to the night, the 1980, you know, the the remake. I know where it was shot. I got the building. I know where the thing is. Kind of, so I got a lot of these weird places. And my friend Greg has been doing this for years online on, on different places like New York. You know, all the New York thing. We have like a huge, I mean, people might have seen my New York thing where I did a ton of New York. But we have even more and more and more. I have so many. I, I wanted to do an Ace Freely a couple of years ago, just Ace Freely alone. And I haven't gotten to that yet because of the way the world's turned and stuff like that. So we'll get there sooner or later. I'll get down that area. People think I'm nuts about that one, but I'm going to go into, uh, you know, <laughs> the hard times area. So, but, you know, so I can do all that kind of crazy stuff. But I'll tell you, man, everybody thinks, oh, there's only certain kiss spots. There is tons and tons of in L.A. So that should be a lot of fun. And maybe I'll meet some people that are going on a kiss cruise that are there early, walking around through town or walking through the boulevard because there's a ton of kiss spots on the boulevard. There's tons on the sunset. There's, uh, you know, you name it. There's all kinds of places. And they keep coming in and keep coming in. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm uh, going to be able to get to so many. And that's how it is. Because even there's like a uh, kiss spot in Universal where they played on Creatures of the Night Tour. It's no longer there. But I know the spot where it is, where it was. Well, Universal the Theater. Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, you know, Paul sometimes uh, takes shots from Disneyland. Yeah, you went to Disneyland. So I have those photos. I'm going to try to match them up. <laughs> when i go to disneyland so it's a lot of fun and then um when we go on the uh van tour i say van tour go to disney i have some spots that are just related and of course everybody knows i'm a wasp fan too you know wasp out of california so there's some spots that uh i'm going to point out as we're, we're driving to go to anaheim so it's going to be a lot of blast but i'm sorry i got off a little bit of track but i'm just so excited so pumped finally get a nice uh hopefully awesome vacation it's about time, and I'm so, so psyched. <laughs> yep, same. So, October 27th, 28th, I get in on the 26th. I have no idea what I'm doing that night. Get your books. Get your books. I'm telling you. Yeah, That's no, like- no. it literally is going to be first come, first serve. I'm all over the place, um, you know. Oh, I take Venmo. I take cash. I take credit card, you know. So, if, nice. you, got a, if you got a credit card, I can, wow. I can, I can chip you, um, you know. So you don't have to carry cash. 
that's always nice. And I, I prefer a credit card and there's no surcharge for paying by credit card either. It's, uh, you know, just one of those things. So Venmo and, uh, and credit card for cashless is preferred. There's only, there's only one other thing that I would like to mention though. When we see everybody, man, let's try to do, I, I know everything, try to fist pump each other, elbow shake, whatever you want to do, um, just to be more safer, you know, the, you know how the world is, so I, yeah, I'm not no going to get into that. No freaking hug me. No hugs. Yeah, yeah, try to do a, more of the fist pumps. I know a lot of people want to hug each other and all that stuff. Because they've seen each other. But let's do a lot of fist pumps and elbows and feet touches or whatever you want to call it. You know, just, you know, just to be safe. I don't know. But, you know, you know how it is. So let's do it that way. So, but we love, can't wait to see everybody. We love to see you guys. So be there. Godmothers, 27th. Or the 28th, either one, man. Just go. Have some fun. It's your vacation. Come and enjoy the free stuff, too. <laughs> you know, I mean, they could charge you to get in. They're like, no, no we'll just walk right in. All right, cool. Stay as long as you want. It doesn't bother me. It's all awesome to me. I can't wait. Yeah, they, they, may, <laughs> they may throw you out of not buying a drink, but that's uh, between you and them. You know, so I'll be there from 6 p.m. And, uh, you know, let's have some fun. If you don't want to buy a book and you want to, you've want you already bought one and want to have it signed, yes, I will sign it. Andy would yes, shout Phil. at me if I I'll didn't. I'll grab and say, Mr. Julian, you, you will sign those, won't you? Do I have to sit next to you and hope, make sure and hold your hand to sign those? Doesn't that sound familiar? <laughs> yes, it does. Like, you remember that guy in Indy who asked me how much it was for a signature? And I was like, for God's sakes, I don't, you've already bought the book. I don't charge for, I will never charge for a signature. And I will never sign anything that I'm not connected with. You put a kiss album in front of me, uh-uh. Uh, but I will sign a book. <laughs> you know, and then he, then he had a whole, he had a box full of them. He's like, okay, I bought all your books. Now please sign them all. <laughs> <You know? laughs> hey, you did. It's, Happy to. Yeah, but... Yeah, but it was the funniest thing and that thing when you was we were we was me and Kim were sitting next to you and I'm like, hey, if you buy his book, he will sign it. And the look you gave me. And, and then I'm, I, I'm then giving you that like, look now. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was that that very first time. And then then everybody's like, he will? He'll sign the book. I'm like, yeah, if you buy these books right now, he'll sign them. Next year they'll buy them left and right. And you're like, oh, okay, this is working. And then you're looking at me going, Man, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you as you sign. I'm gonna kill you, Andy. This is the last book I signed. This is the last. See, now you know how those like, 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 you know, people that like sign forever. You know, I mean, I like Peter Chris. I don't know. I you know they they sign all day long. How do they do it? I don't know. I know I'd get irritated after about. Well, that's five. that's why that's why I pre-sign a lot of the stuff because it's easier. Oh. Because I have arthritis. <laughs> Uh, but I will. Br I I am bringing the sharpies in case you want a dedication in it, so it'll match. So, oh, it just so he doesn't cop out. I'm bringing sharpies too. I brought a bunch of color ones. I showed him a couple of weeks ago, and I put him in my suitcase because I'm going to make sure. <laughs> I'm glad there's nothing for me to sign. That's I'm glad. I'm glad my uh, name isn't on any book. Oh, I can say you really should have Andy sign it. <laughs> as well, you know, I don't think anybody wants my chicken scratch. Believe me. It looks absolutely terrible. Yep. No. All right. That's it. So Godmothers, Doubletree for the Cruise Fest, uh, Crown for the hotel. You know, just come on out. Enjoy California while you're there. Uh, hopefully the air and the wildfires will be, you know, nice down there because we're suffocating in San Francisco with it. Uh, but welcome to California. Look forward to seeing all of you when you're here, even if it's just for a, a fist pump and uh, a high. You know, and, uh, you know, if I get to say anything to you, if I'm, I seem harassed or, you know, grumpy, it's because I'm busy and it, don't take it personally because I'm a naturally <laughs> grumpy person. But uh, there we go. Look forward Andy. to next week. Andy isn't. Yeah, there you go. All right. So that's it for now. We'll see you in San Pedro. Let's take a dive. San Pedro Bay. You live you live in California and you say San Pedro. Every I time know. I said San Pedro, I was corrected by people that live again. It's San Pedro. That's what it's San Pedro, Andy. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you want to be a San Pedro? I don't know. I, I only know I only about. learned how to say La Jolla last year. La Jolla? La Jolla? La Jolla. I had no idea. I was La like La Jolla. <laughs> and you live there. And you live in California.